Oh, there is no time. I don't know how people would go to church and plan to miss the praise and worship. Those hymns, those songs that are there to inspire us, that are there to really lead us into the spirit of worship and, uh, and those words that are well penned so that it could really help us to get caught up with the Lord Jesus Christ as we worship. Don't miss a part of the worship. Be there for the whole worship. Because the person who have prepared the worship has, it's like a chain. It's all attached one to the other, the songs to the scriptures, the scriptures to the prayers, and the prayers to the message of God's words to us. We must be there for the whole meal. To praise and thanks the Lord. Christ placed a new song in the heart of the redeemed. Redeemed, I would like to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. With music we too can praise God from whom all blessings flow. We have a habit in our congregation to end the service with this great doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him. Praise Him. Give Him all the praise. We start with praise and we finish with praise because that is what worship is all about entering into prayer with praise and thanksgiving brings the result John Greenleaf which he had in mind when he wrote this wonderful hymn Job thy still Jews of quietness till all our striving cease. Take from our souls the strain of stress and let our ordered lives confess the beauty of thy peace. This is the prayer of Greenleaf Wiltier, dear Lord and Father of mankind. May the Lord give you a song of praise this morning. May he give you a week of praise this week. May he give you a life of praise that your life will be living to praise the Lord for all his goodness towards you and to count your blessings and to name them one by one. Let us go in prayer to the Lord always with a grateful heart. Let us always enter his gates with thanksgiving. Let us always remember his goodness towards us. Shall we pray? God, go before us as we go forth in the days of this week to proclaim your wondrous deeds. Give to us open minds and ready spirits to speak your name often and lovingly. May your holy name be praised now and forevermore. Give us a spirit of prayer and thanksgiving always. In Jesus' name, amen.